Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this video today isn't too much about Corel Draw, but it, it does pertain to it. I just got through cutting out this puzzle, and I've got a couple of videos I actually took of me doing it. But just kind of go over from here to here, I coated it in a Rust Oleum clear enamel clear paint, basically. And it did satin it up a little bit, but it would still be okay. This isn't the best picture. On from here over, I coated it with what I normally coat it with, which is a Wadco satin lacquer, spray lacquer. And then I intentionally did not spray the center of the strip because this was just for a test for this video. And you can see, and it's not a great picture, but you can actually see some burn residue left over where I did not coat it. And this is after wiping it off with a, a damp rag. And, and I apologize because the picture is not sharper, but there's this, this is some burn residue. So the stuff that worked the best is what I've used before. Uh, the burn residue washed off 100%. It did really good. Uh, I'm going to try in the near future to use a black mat board. I used black on the back of this think it would help with the splash flashback from the laser but I used a white mat board on top so it was white and black I got it Hobby Lobby I'm gonna try a, a black mat board and see if this line won't maybe disappear a little bit more this could be just the white from the paper the photo paper and it wasn't the best picture to begin with so it's a little fuzzy but that's why I kind of designated it to do a test and play with it Anyway, so continue watching the other videos and maybe get an idea how I do it, did it. And once again, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm going to show you how I do a puzzle out of mat board. I've selected a 5x7 photo. I bought a mat board from Hobby Lobby. I actually bought a black back because I think it's going to hide the, the laser burn flashback on the back so what I've done and I'm going to use for, for the first time I'm going to use Elmer's it actually says fast tacking dries clear acid free photo safe so I thought we'd try that shake up the can a little bit and I've got some protective paper over my workbench and I'm just going to put a light coat over the whole thing and I'm going to take some I'm going to take my photograph and it's really tacky this is the first time I've ever done it without cutting it first or cutting it first and I don't know that this is going to work but anyway we'll try it Take a little bit of wax paper. I've got a board here, it won't take for just a second. And then I'm going to stop the video and continue on. And, and for a reason that this is just a test puzzle, I've always used a lacquer. Well, the actual make of Rust-Oleum makes a clear enamel paint type product. So I'm going to use both and then we'll do a test. So I'm going to coat the right side with a lacquer. And what this is going to do is going to protect your picture. Then hopefully I can, I'm going to purposely leave maybe some of it unprotected in the middle. And I'm going to spray the Rust-Oleum. So I purposely left the center unprotected. The right's going to have the lacquer, the right or the left's going to have the Rust-Oleum seal. Now I did pre-cut this frame out or the mat board out thinking it would be easier because I can put it right back in the laser where I cut it out at. But now that I see it, it's, it's going to be a little difficult to glue the picture down. So you might want to waste some mat board and spray the whole mat board and just Put down your picture.
All right, the puzzle's done. I intentionally didn't spray any spray in the center, and I can actually see a little bit of burn residue even after it was wiped off with a damp rag. On the lacquer, on the clear lacquer, Watco clear lacquer, and I use satin, after it was wiped off, I can see no residue. But on the enamel, I can still see a little bit. So this is what I've always used before, and I'll continue using it. Now, I actually coated the back side. The back is black, and it seems like it kind of protected a little bit, maybe more. It might even help kind of stiffen up your uh, puzzle. Uh, I'm going to try it another time using black matte board entirely and I think it might be because you can actually see the white matte board of the cut so I think if we did black you would see less of the line and and it all depends on what you're really looking for if you're looking for to see the puzzle or not see the puzzle and you know take a piece out 